Hi everybody, welcome to Wellness Space. Today we are going to do a 15 minute back bend flow. So when you are ready, we'll start on the back, lying down, soles of the feet hip distance apart. And then letting the arms just rest beside the body, making sure the head is comfortable, gaze towards the sky. Closing the eyes, we're just going to hold it here for five breaths before we begin. Seeing if you can settle the mind, get rid of any distractions. I know it's only a short time, but there is scientific evidence that as soon as you start to calm that breath, it does affect our mind. It does affect the fluctuations. With the arms beside the body, the palms grounded. On an inhale, you're gonna curl the spine all the way up as if you were coming into a mini bridge. On an exhale, then curl the spine all the way down. Two more of those, inhale, ripple the spine up, mini bridge. Exhale, lower it down. Another one, inhale, lift the spine, curl it up. Exhale, lower. This time, lift the spine up, push the hips high and hold it here. You can always have the hands where they are. Maybe you prefer to interlace the fingers or maybe you prefer to support the hands, wrap them around the waist. So it's your choice. And you're going to hold it here for five breaths, squeezing into the glutes, lifting the hips high. And then release, squeeze the thighs towards the belly, rock the spine up and down on your mat. Just about three or so times, nice big rolls on the spine, crossing the legs, coming forward, forward fold at the top of the mat. Letting the arms just ragdoll down or catching hold of opposite elbows. If your arms are raggling down, maybe you have a little circle of the wrists, push the wrists down into the floor. Having a little sway. And then on an inhale, sweep the hands up towards the sky. Take a lovely little back bend at the top. Exhale, forward fold, hands down. Flat back on your inhale. Right leg back, low lunge, exhale. Arms high, back bend on your inhale. Hands down on your exhale. High plank on your inhale. Lower all the way down to the belly on your exhale. Baby cobra, untuck the toes, little lift, inhale. Lower the chest on an exhale. Full cobra, extend the arms, lift the chest, inhale. Lower the chest, exhale. Fingertips off the mat, cobra round three. Inhale, you extend the arms. And then exhale, you lower. Downward facing dog on your inhale. And find your pose on your exhale. Hold it here for three breaths. So don't worry, those little three rounds of cobras we've just done, we'll do it again. And the beauty of this is you can always stop the video if you need to. And when you're ready, lifting the left leg into the sky. Step it through for a low lunge. Reach the hands high, take a lovely back bend. Hands down on an exhale. Right leg forward to meet the left. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Reach the hands high on an inhale, back bend if you want. Forward fold again, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Left leg back, low lunge on your exhale. Reach the hand back bend, inhale. Hands down on your exhale. High plank, inhale. Lower to the belly on your exhale. Baby cobra, inhale. Lower it down, exhale. A full cobra, inhale. Lower it down, exhale. Round three, fingers off, 
inhale lower the chest exhale downward facing dog hips high inhale heels down on your exhale holding it here for three for two for one right leg reaches high step it through find your low lunge reach the hands up back bend inhale hands down on your exhale left leg forward flat back inhale forward fold on your exhale reach the hands back bend on an inhale forward fold on your exhale a lengthen on an inhale step or jump chaturanga on your exhale back bend inhale downward facing dog exhale left leg lifts into the sky on an inhale bend the knee stack the hip or wild thing on your exhale push the hips super high on your inhale and hold it there for your exhale hold it for an inhale hold it for an exhale left hand down three-legged dog on your inhale low lunge on your exhale lifting the chest high we'll interlace the fingers behind the back roll the knuckles down that back leg squeeze the shoulders in and gaze towards the sky And then release, extending the left leg, release the hands round the spine. So you wanna place the hands down or maybe you can even walk the fingertips back towards the back edge of the mat. As if you're now stretching the shoulder blades apart, let the chin tuck towards the chest, look towards your back foot. You're getting a nice hamstring stretch but you're also lengthening the spine. Come back into your low lunge, reach the hands high or maybe you want to support the head with the hands, gaze high, elbows come shoulder distance. Release the hands down towards the floor, three legged dog left leg reaches high. Cross it over for your fallen triangle. R left foot in line with the hands. Reach the right hand into the sky and make this into a back bend by shining the chest to the sky, reaching the right arm over to the left side of your room. Pushing the hips up, push the left hip as high as you can. And then lower the right hand down, step it back, high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Baby Cobra on an inhale and lower on an exhale. A full Cobra inhale and lower on your exhale. Round three inhale and lower exhale. Take it back down dog inhale. Let the feet settle exhale. Lifting the right leg into the sky on an inhale. Bend and stack or wild thing on your exhale. Push the hips high on an inhale. Hold it there for your exhale. Keep one breath here, left leg straight, right leg bent. Lower the right hand down, three-legged dog. Step it through for your low lunge. Lifting the chest nice and high, interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll the knuckles down that back leg. Letting the hips drop, lifting the chest high. Taking the head back as far as your neck will allow. You don't want it to be too uncomfortable. Keeping the breath.
Extend the right leg around the spine. Fingertips down, let them walk back. Chin to chest, look towards the back foot. Rising back up, find your low lunge. Arms reach high for a back bend or hands interlace around the head. Shoulders squeeze in. Just like we did in that variation before, push the hips forward. Let the chest go high and let that head drop back. And still be active in the legs. Push the sole of the right foot down, push the left knee down. One more breath. Releasing the hands to the floor. Right leg reaches high, three-legged dog. Cross it over, finding your fallen triangle. Reach the left hand high, open up the chest, fingertips reach over to the right. As if your body is in an open star shape. Super strong in that right hand for two. For one. Left hand down, a three-legged down dog. And then release, drop the foot lower to your chaturanga. Lift in the chest, inhale. Take it back, child's pose on your exhale. Reaching the fingertips wide, forehead drops down to the ground. Hold it there for a couple of breaths. So we've got a few more back bends to go. First of all, taking our camel pose. Lift the hips up in line with the knees, wrap the fingers around the waist. Thumbs in towards the lower part of the back. Lift the chest high on an inhale. Push the hips forward, head back on an exhale. Hold it for two breaths. And release, rise up. Forehead drops, arms go beside the body, child's pose. Inhale, rise up. Hips in line with the knees, maybe you want to tuck the back toes. Variation one, or this time on an exhale, catch the heels. Lift the chest, shoulders in nice and tight. Find your gaze in point and hold it there. For one. And then release, rise up. Child's pulls, arms beside the body, forehead down. Lifting the spine up, last round. Maybe you have the toes tucked, maybe you don't need them tucked. Catch hold of the heels if you can, lift the chest, inhale. And then make it into a back bend on your exhale. Keeping the thighs so they're perpendicular to the floor. Try not to reach too far back. Take one more breath. And then rising up. Planting the palms, finding your way into your downward facing dock. Hold it there for three. Find length in the spine. For two, for one, gaze to the hands, step or jump the feet into a seated position, extending the legs out in front, take a forward fold, arms high on an inhale and then forward fold on your exhale. Catch shins, ankles, feet, maybe you've got a block where the soles of the feet are if you can catch a little bit further. We're taking one more back bend to finish. So rising the chest up, falling all the way down onto your back. You can either take a mini bridge, which is how we started, or full wheel, hands go beside the ears, soles the feet hip distance. On an inhale, push the floor away, lift the head up, lift the hips. Maybe you wiggle the feet in, spread the fingertips, look in between the thumbs as if you want to push the chest to the back of your room. 
Stay solid for three. For two. For one. And release. Bend the legs back down to the ground, finding your thighs towards your belly. Give them a little squeeze. Rock the body from side to side. And then taking a happy baby pose to catch hold of the outside edges of the feet. If you can't quite grab those, grab the hamstrings or the calves. Lift the head up, lift the tailbone up. It's as if you're round in the spine. Letting the knees go a little closer to the floor. And then release. Head down, soles the feet on the floor, legs bent. Little sway of the legs from side to side. If you want, you can stay here. Take a mini shavasana or a recline twist. Or if your 15 minutes has satisfied you enough, roll your way into a seated position. As always, close the eyes. It's taking a couple of breaths to finish. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale it out through the mouth. Hands together towards the center of the heart. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Namaste, everybody.